The other story, the IPO frenzy continues with a strong show for LNT Infotech. That IPO is closing out today. It has been oversubscribed 5.7 points, just shy of six times. Reema is here with the details. Reema, what's the latest? Well, and we're still counting 5.74 times, as you said, with the Q QIB portion getting subscribed by nearly 10 times. Retail close to about 5.6 times. This is as per data, which ended at 11.30. Um, so I guess the numbers right now could even be higher. The issue closes today. Remember, the price ban has been set at 705 to 710 per share. Retail investors will get a 10 rupee discount. The company had also raised about 370 crore from its anchor book at the upper end of the price ban at 710. If you look at the valuations, l and Infotech is price to 12 times F517 PE, which would mean that it's cheaper than the likes of your Infosys and TCS, which are trading at 18 times F517 PE. It would be cheaper than a mid-cap IT company like a Mindtree, which is operating at 16 times thereabout. But of course, a lot of the skeptics also say that Mindtree has a superior growth profile, which is why it deserves to trade at a higher premium. Uh, but l and Infotech's multiple uh, would be slightly higher than smaller companies like NIT Tech as well as KPIT Technologies. So all in all, Valuations are considered reasonable. Um, where the street quibbles about a bit is the growth prospects for LNT Infotech. It will be India's eighth largest IT company. Its annual revenues are close to about $900 million as of last quarter. In the last three years, it's seen an annual growth of about 12% in dollar terms, though last year its growth rate at 9.5% was lower than that of the um, that of industry. The big positive in the case of LNT Infotech is the parent uh, company, the brand equity of LNT itself, though the negative is that the company does not have a differentiated business model. It's a plain vanilla IT company. So why invest in an l and Infotech when you have so many other companies to invest at? The only um, the pro in the case is that the valuations, which are not very expensive, but not really, really cheap as well. Back to you. All right, Rima. Many thanks for that update.